Hi everyone, it's almost time for MCM London Comic Con. It's the 25th to 27th of May at Excel in London and it's on twice a year in May and October. Now neither one of them is the main show, there's just two Comic Cons and they're both absolutely huge. Now the great thing about Comic Con is it's just a complete break away from normal life. You can just have fun taking pictures, see loads of cosplayers, you can get things you wouldn't normally be able to buy in the shops and you can wear whatever you like and it's such a friendly atmosphere, it's just a really great community. And it's also where I have my stall, Cakes With Faces. Now because I have an online shop most of the time, it's really great to just bring it to life at Comic Con and I try and make my stall as colourful as possible and I always love meeting all you guys there, so come and say hello. So today I'm going to tell you about a few new things, some stuff that's happening at the show and some tips. Number one, the Comic Con app. Now this is a new thing this time and it's free. You can get it on Apple and Android. It's got the special guests, the schedules for the stages and you can buy tickets. It also will have the floor plan. That's not released just yet but it's usually out a couple of days before the show and I'm hoping that'll make it a lot easier to navigate the show because it's so big now. It can be really hard to find things so I think this will make it a lot easier. One thing I will say is on the show floor section the first thing you see is the exhibitor list. Now that's not absolutely all of them. If you want to see them all you have to click on dealers which is at the bottom. I missed that the first time I looked at it but then you can see absolutely all the stalls that are going to be there. There's also a countdown to the show which is stressing me out at the moment because I've still got so much to do to get my stall ready. And there's links to Manchester, Scotland and Birmingham as well so it looks like they'll be using this for the other MCM shows too. Number two, come and see me. I'll be there the whole weekend on my stall Cakes With Faces so come and say hello. If I'm not there it's because I'm walking around filming or getting lunch or something but I will be there every day and you can see all my designs and I'll have some new stuff especially for the show. I'll have my new avocado t-shirts because avocados are the best and my other new t-shirt is a little bit dark and a little bit cute. It's kawaii a kawaii Ouija board possessed by cuteness. And fingers crossed my new pins arrive in time. I've got a new pin in my Zushi Sushi Animals series. It's my giraffe Hosomaki. He's very cute. And it'll also be the first time at the show for my Llamageddon t-shirts, which I'm wearing today, and the hoodies, and the cute ghost leggings as well. I'll also have all my other designs, all the t-shirts, hoodies, my control freak varsity jackets, all the dresses, and everything else. You can see it all on cakeswithfaces.co.uk. I'll be in the South Hall on stand BG3 and um, because a few people said they couldn't find my stall last time I'm going to try and do a quick live stream on Friday morning to show you where I'll be. That'll be on facebook.com slash cakeswithfaces. And the official floor plan and the stage schedules and everything are usually out just a couple of days before the show so when they're published I'll put a link on my website and on Facebook and Twitter that's cakeswithfaces. Number three, autographs and photos. One of the special things about Comic Con is you can meet some special guests and this time there's actors from Daredevil, Jessica Jones, Orange is the New Black, Deadpool, The Walking Dead, Star Wars and The Rocky Horror Show. And there's voice actors from Futurama, Adventure Time, Metal Gear Solid, Overwatch, Grand Theft Auto, South Park and the voice of Winnie the Pooh and Tigger who's the same person. There's also loads more, you can see them all on the website and in the app and they usually announce a couple more as it gets closer to the show. Now if you want to meet the special guests and get autographs and photos you have to pay separately for that but everything that's on the stage, all the panels and shows, that is included in your ticket. Number four, the Quidditch Premier League. It's a sport inspired by the one in Harry Potter. Now I don't know quite how it works but you can find out all about it in a talk on Saturday and find out how you can play if you want to give it a try. Number five, fan meets. There's loads of meetups over the weekend. They're not just for cosplayers. Anyone's welcome. It's really casual. You just go along and meet some new people which is really good especially if you're going on your own. They're themed around specific things like Disney or a particular game or anime and there's loads of them. They're all on the MCM website on the Fringe Festival page. 
Number six, Pop Asia. Now this is one of my favourite sections because I love Japan. There's going to be Japanese food stalls, a little stage, you can get sweets and snacks and loads of cute stuff. There's usually a stall where you can get Japanese tableware, like all the little plates and things. This time Artbox is going to have a little machine shop with photo spots and loads of cute merch. And if you like Japan, I've just started my new series of Japan vlogs. There's a couple up so far and there's going to be new videos every Thursday. I've filmed so much for you, so I hope you enjoy them. Number seven, DC Exhibition. If you like DC comics and films, there's an exhibition called DC Dawn of the Superheroes at the O2, which is just across the river from XL. You can get there on the cable car. It's got drawings, props and costumes. All the details are on dcexhibition.co.uk and if you look on MCM Comic Con's Twitter, there's a link so you can get a discount if you're going to MCM as well. And you can get a discount on the cable car if you show them your MCM wristband. Finally, what else is there? There's Author Corner with fantasy and sci-fi authors. There's the Comic Village with independent artists who've self-published their own comics and prints. There's so many different styles, it's definitely worth a look. Vidfest is now called Creatorscape, that's got people from YouTube. And there's loads of stores with all sorts of plushies, board games, video games, cosplay stuff like contact lenses and wigs, cakes, figures, and all sorts of merch. You can see what it's like in my video from last time. Last time I lost my voice and I couldn't talk to anyone properly and it was really awful. So hopefully that won't happen again. And I will be making a video this time too. So tell me if there's anything you wanna see. How to get there. You can get to XL on the DLR, go to Custom House or Prince Region and they're both right by XL. And you can use your Oyster card on the DLR, just like the rest of the tube. So come and say hello and tell me you saw my video. You can see my new Japan vlogs on my channel and you can see all my designs on cakesoffaces.co.uk. If you're not going to Comic Con, you can get everything online and my new designs will be up after the show. So I'll see you there. Bye bye.